We worked five months to get to this point. It's part character, blood and sweat. It's the day of reckoning, and primed for battle are the Toronto Argonauts and the Edmonton Eskimos at the Rogers Centre in Toronto. Today, the 2012 postseason kicks off East meets West. This is the CFL playoffs, and the pressure is mounting. And you couldn't have written a better script as Ricky Ray faces his old team. Off the field is no exception. CSN's crew is in the hot seat, broadcasting the game to the country. Let's leave it on the line tonight! Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. It's all about doing your homework. Let's go, Ben! One, on three! One, two, three, four! Watch the microphones live. Um, you're going to get some F-bombs here. You got Ricky Ray for me anywhere in the huddle, Nate? Yeah. Ricky Ray anywhere in the huddle? Ready three? Ready three? Does all three? If we make a mistake or if we miss uh, miscapturing a moment live during the game, then we don't get that back. A little bit behind is no good. Roll red. red. Waters has it on the tee. This is the semi. Underway. As the Argos kick off, Paul Hemming directs the production inside a $9 million mobile truck. A sports broadcast team is really like an orchestra. Starting deep in their own territory. Everybody plays their own instrument. It just seems like absolute pandemonium. And that's underneath the surface. On top of it is the is the smooth, polished you know, production that you see uh, at home. Like a quarterback, Paul's job is to eye the play and make accurate, quick decisions. And his team is a crew of over 50. Headsets are their lifeline. An average football game has 150 plays in it. And so the way that I see the game is through 150 20-second segments. Those segments are captured by microphones right on the field and 14 high-definition cameras rolling on the unfolding drama. And with that... The Eskimos send an early message. As tight as you can there, Skeeto. <laughs> At the top of the second quarter, the Argos answer back, and it's getting heated. And let's see what the Argos can do with this. An up. aerial cable camera brought out just for the playoffs follows the action. Cable cam allowed the viewer to be in spots and see angles and be in positions that they've never been before. The million dollar system takes three days to rig up. Sean Leary is part of the six person crew. So it's basically two separate lines and they run to all four corners of the building. And we have electric motors that push and pull each of the lines. We can actually fly it in circles and figure eights and really a three dimensional pattern. And we're going to just start back a little bit. It's operated by a pilot and a camera operator. Uh, this cable cam is on. Awesome. Woody Arbor yeah. gets it away and Owens on the run. Across the two. Right inside the three. Still going. He'll score. His first kick return touchdown. With that electrifying play, momentum shifts to the home team. And following it closely is producer John Hines. My tendency is going to be leave and go there, right? The most important thing that I do is work with the commentators to formulate storylines for the game. From his quarterback, Ricky Ray, to come back to the football. Those storylines also help the director decide where to focus the cameras. The story right now, the Argos have just seized an historic lead. Most in CFL history in the playoffs, right? Yes, that is correct. Over at the TSN building across town. Thank you, Chris. That is the story from Toronto. But what it does bring to the table is energy. The studio tackles the halftime show. Like everyone on the panel, Matt Dunnigan is a former player. Trying to make that camera somebody you know and being precise concise and clear with your thoughts in 30 second increments the second half starts down the hall sean machado focuses on his job ensuring that the yellow stripe the virtual first down line is on the field first down on the left 47 and the half 22 the guy's voice you just heard was the uh, spotter on the field his job is to let me know where the first down markers are. You know, let me know if they're right or left of center and what uh, yard they're on. The virtual first down line is technology that changed the way that viewers watch the game. 
field is big, especially in Canadian football, it's, it's easy for the fan to lose track of like what's the goal. You know, the goal in football is to get a first down and, and keep the chains moving and try to score a touchdown at the other end. Back at the stadium, the Eskimos are trying to dig themselves out of a hole. Meanwhile, the truck seems to be hitting a stride. I'm on it. It's chaos, but it's fun chaos. The Argos win 42 to 26, and like the TSN crew, they're one step closer to the Grey Cup. The Grey Cup is the largest single television event in our country's history. We were probably talking about three times as many facilities and toys as we call them for the championship game. As the truck passes it back to the post-game show, there's a collective sigh of relief. I'm done with cable cam, thank you very much. If you've done your job properly, you are 100% mentally, emotionally, and physically trained. Great job today, guys, well done.